Hello Internet and welcome to Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean where we are about to witness one of the biggest animal migrations in the world. We've just been told that our recovery flight, it's been cancelled as well, we saw on the radar it just turned around so we have no news yet on when the next flight's going to be but this does mean that we get to witness the animal kingdom at its biggest and best. We were all pretty gutted that we wouldn't be around um, to shoot this. And what, you, what I mean by this is all the female red crabs coming out of the forest, moving towards the water, and tomorrow morning, between 40 to whatever million crabs will dip in the ocean and release their eggs. And I can't wait to, uh, to do my very best to film it for you guys and show it to you because it's, it's not easy because it pretty much happens in pitch black darkness. So we'll see how we go. So in case you missed the previous, previous video, I was here for Google's Street View Tracker project, capturing content, the behind the scenes and the making of, of Google, Google capturing this, uh, this migration. That's just really cool that Google's putting all this, all this money and time and effort to, um, to show this special place off to the rest of the world. I am here with the one and only... Alastair Grigg, Parks Australia, and I'm fortunate enough to be carrying the Google Tracker around uh, on Christmas Island. Yeah. Uh, over the next couple of days, we'll yeah. be capturing the spawning itself. Tomorrow morning, hoping to go down to the blowholes and the boulder track, where there's millions of crabs crawling around Insane. in the forest, and should be uh, really good. Yeah. It should be awesome. So we're here in Flying Fish Cove at the moment, which is this beautiful little scene and beach and stuff, and all these crabs are having a look at the water and seeing what's going on. And then over here, we have some Homo sapiens having a, having a damn good time. As much as I'd love to kick it and have more beers with these awesome, amazing people because they're all a bunch of legends. I'm gonna go grab some extra gear and shoot some proper time lapses because I've just been shooting video, which is not ideal. It's low res and all that, and I want to get the like full, all the content. So that's the rig, and here is the GoPro. Let's cut to that. One, two, three. All right, shoot for tonight is done. That looked really fun. I am getting some assistance by Reef, who lives here in Jara. And you should check out the YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below. Reef's 11 and Jara is? Eight. Eight years old. And Reef makes videos about this island and what it's like. And it's a really unique perspective. So you should go, should go check it out. We are trying to head to dinner and the crabs on the road aren't making it easy. So we're literally, and this is chill. Like there's not a lot of crabs on the road now. Luke's, uh, he's on the wheel. <laughs> Not easy. Today has been pretty slow. We uh, just went for a scout at the cove to see what we can shoot more. Then we got a call and we're heading back to Muriel Beach where I shot that GoPro footage of me flopping around in the water. Which was solid and apparently everything there is covered in crabs. They're all just like getting ready for, uh, oh, how long is it now? Less than 24 hours until Millions of them drop their eggs in the ocean. Apparently really impressive and really funny how they drop the eggs. They're just kind of like dancing them off. So yeah, excited to see that. Here we are once again at the Arenga Palm with probably the biggest population of rubber crabs that I've seen so far. They are loving it. Look at that, how much it's changed in 24 hours or less. Tell you what, I haven't been this sweaty in a while. It's literally just dripping down my face. Shooting some time lapses. I'm shooting some of the GoPros also well I can show you because you know the Google ones are probably going to Google. Um, but yeah, what a what a beautiful spot. Next shot for me is this tunnel of crabs here. Let me show you that. Epic, epic little spot. Crabs just keep streaming in. I'm, I've never been this way before. <laughs> I'm gonna cut to some of the GoPro clips because I really, 
really want you guys to see this. I'm, I'm blown away and I'm so grateful to see this in real life. It's, uh, I mean, look at it. There's just one spot, literally everywhere. They're covered on the cliffs, on everything. It's mad. Anyways, here we go, time lapses. This has to be my favorite spot on the island. That's how they kind of, that's their uh, defense. defense, not the big ones. They'll use that as a last effort. They'll kind of tap you. Oop. Just look at the amount of them. I know I've shown you this before, but how can I not show it again? It's nature at its finest. And look at that blue one over there on the left. Beast. He or she is the king or queen, who knows? So cool. Can you see that? I'm about this close from passing out due to too much sweat loss. Is that a thing? True, it's probably. It's, uh, yeah, fucking fuck. Because of all the flight uh, mishaps and so many people still being on the island, but another flight coming in, I now get to be roommates with. Ta da! At Sharky! We have it's 18 minutes to shower and get dressed and go to the Chinese celebration. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but there's three communities on the island Australian, Chinese, and Malay. And it's a pretty cool way how they all interact with each other. Time to bounce, we're running late. I'm gonna switch to the 50 mil. I'm not gonna do too much vlogging, but I will show you some slow motions and maybe some nice, uh, nice imagery of this uh, fantastic fest that we'll be viewing. Losing the plot, mate. Time to uh, head home tomorrow. Your boy, Matty Jones at the wheel, hold on tight. <laughs> Feeling great, but very excited to go shoot these crabs. The spawning is predicted to happen at 3.20, so uh, we're gonna head over now and hopefully shoot some magic. So I hope you enjoy these next couple shots.
Alrighty, what a morning. All the crabs have gone. Well, there's still like a couple thousand on the beach, but uh, just taking it all in. Finally took a photo of that rock that is uh, so famous here. <laughs> uh, Luke's still taking some landscape shots. There's literally just crabs running, <coughs> running around, crawling up my legs. And uh, yeah, I'd say this was a, a big success considering we weren't even going to be here for the spawning. And now I got to see it, capture it. And yeah, it's just uh, very, very grateful. Ah, you just sprayed um, straight in my eye. Oh. Buck spray, the muzzles are out, terrible. <laughs> We're on our way to the airport. Oh. Selena, you legend. You're Hi. leaving a, a lovely little just message. Graffitiing. Graffiti. This is how you know when your flight's cancelled or if your flight's indeed running. <laughs> if you want to say thanks, CI, for having us, we're chilling out here. Yeah, love That's it. That's what you do. Sweet. Oh, Easy, you legend. Oh, this is that's the best. Cool. That is so good. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be the end of the Christmas Island adventures. I'm going to make a cinematic video though, a proper like travel, travel compilation with everyone in it. And yeah, I just want everyone from the island that's watching this video um, to know that we love you all so much. It's been an absolute adventure and thank you so much for taking care of us like you did. Um, once in a lifetime trip to see what we saw and to have locals take us in like, uh, like we were locals and family was absolutely incredible and um, yeah, I can't wait to be back. So, cheers to that. Yeah, sad to be leaving, also happy to be going back to Sydney, finally, maybe, fingers, fingers crossed, but uh, yeah, it's been a good one. See you next time. After this, <laughs> the whole flight thing, I can't believe that we're actually on the plane. I'm so excited. It's good. Vicky, you excited? So excited. If I'm not mistaken, we are currently walking on mainland Australia. Who's excited, fam? Very excited. Ooh, ooh, who's keen to get home? Me. This guy. How are we feeling everyone? How's it going? We all good? Hey. Everybody happy? <laughs> Very it's so good right now. Virgin Australia can get absolutely fucked. When we left at the airport there, everyone was like, should we get the hotel arrangements now? Because when we arrive it's gonna be late. No, 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 there, there'll be service stuff there and you'll arrange your hotel when you're there. And now we're here and guess what? There's no fucking serve stuff. So there's no hotel. So yeah, another adventure. Woo! Times. At least we're back on the mainland, right? Hey, positive, silver lining, blah, blah. Update. We're at the Ibis. Uh, they got no rooms, no beds, nothing. So, four and a half hours, uh, the lounge opens. Uh, this is not great. Vicky's been on the phone for 40 minutes with Virgin. And Luke has purchased a $3 hot, crispy, and delicious hot chips. Update. Vicky spent 45 minutes on the phone with Virgin. Thank you, Virgin. We are going to the Great Eastern Motor Lodge, where apparently we have rooms. But we'll see what happens there. We made it. Vicky's gone to her room. We're now waiting to hear if we have a room or not. Anything you want to share? Um, how we feel? A bit of sleep would be good. Oh, it's, uh, it's already tomorrow. It's quarter past twelve. We've got about four hours to sleep. Less, three and a half. Oh, yeah. I reckon we can't believe I actually made it to the room. <laughs> How great. Um, alarm goes off in three hours, so this was worth it, right? Catch you in the morning. Waking up this early when you're that tired should be illegal or something. Let's go to the airport. The only upside of this whole thing, back in the lounge. Let's, uh, what do you want? Coffee? Tea? Coffee, coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Can't believe it, back in Sydney and Google has arranged these lovely vehicles to pick us up. How good, except for the crappy night. Uh, gotta go drop off some gear and then surprise Amelia later today. Tell you what, this is probably the nicest car I've ever been picked up in. Woo -hoo -hoo, look at that. Like for real. <laughs> How boss is this? Love it. Alrighty, back home, back in the office. Offloaded everything, cleaned the whole place. 
I'm assuming Emily's gonna love that because she left quite the mess. Um, I want to film her getting home and have like the surprise reaction, but I don't. Um, I have no idea when she gets home, unfortunately. So, yeah, not sure if I'll be able to film that, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to be back in Sydney. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>